we got the trailer hooked up. We were headed to pick up another C10 to work on. Got her all loaded up. We'll try to get to the house before it gets too dark. My dang trailer lights ain't working right. Next day here, I'm gonna pull my truck up a little bit so I won't be in the mud trying to unload this rig. Get her unloaded, and then we'll go over it. And what we're gonna do? Yes, I'll throw in a little cold start on the old four door for y'all too. Looking like underneath here. We pull it off real quick. Dang, it's all right. Looks like it's got some flow masters. Long tube headers. Front of it. It's pretty low. Ain't but uh, probably about four inches right there before it be rubbing. Got her pulled over here in a little work spot. I ain't gonna be fooling with it today. I'm basically just gonna go over it, see what uh, what all we're gonna need. He was telling me it was blowing oil everywhere, so I'm thinking maybe the, the oil line or something may have broke, blowed oil everywhere, or you never know. Uh, oil filter may have loosened up, or it might have a hole in the block somewhere, which. We don't think that's what it is, but we're going to check it all over, see what all we're going to need. Pretty clean little truck, though. Got 20s on the back, and I think. I think it's got 18s. Yeah, 18s up front. Don't look too bad. All white. Get it running, I'll put it up beside mine, have black and white together. Nice little bed liner in it. Power windows, it is a Silverado. It's got power windows and all. It's a pretty clean little truck though. Dash is pretty straight. Seat's nice. Tinted windows, I like that. Pretty nice little truck, no doubt. Sides just the same as the other side. Things in pretty good shape. Got some gauges down there. Tell you what you need to know. Little burst aluminum piece up there. I like that. I like a lot of stuff I bring over here. This is not my truck. I'm not allowed to own stuff this nice. But yeah, he said it was uh blowing oil. When I went to pick it up, he had it in the garage, and there was oil all over the floor. And this front wheel, he said he hit something, and it knocked loose or something. And uh, I was looking here, and you can see right down in there, the little shims that go right up in there. When he hit the, he said he hit the bridge, and like a little bump, you know, when you go from the road to the bridge, a little bump there, he said he hit that bump, and that's when he heard it pop. And it was started steering crazy. So uh, pretty sure that's the problem right there. We'll have to pull this wheel off. Make sure there ain't nothing else messed up. And uh, try to get them shims back in there and get all that tightened up. Figure out where the oil is coming from. Maybe this line right here. Oh, I 
want to get a light to see better and then uh obviously we're just going to go over everything make sure it's all good to go as far as the motor uh i don't think he really knows exactly what it is itself but from what we know it's a 350 obviously just got old school heads on it i don't know which ones and uh it does have a little cam in it it's got a turbo 350 little stall big intake looks like a got a double pumper carburetor on it super cool hei it's a good good sounding little truck i don't think it's the most powerful thing in the world but maybe i can talk him into fixing that later on yep she's pretty dry <laughs> It's got about a quart of oil in it. He said he started it up and it started blowing oil everywhere and he shut it off. He's been sitting ever since. This is pretty much what we're going to be working on for the next uh, week or so. And then after I get this one up and running, he's got a 4x4 C10. Needs to do a little work on it too. And uh, still waiting on the intake for that one. We can put the motor in it. My daddy's probably going to wait till after Christmas. So order an intake and all for that and like i said he's got a four by four one too after this one so we'll have plenty of c10 work for the next several several weeks <laughs> not sure how much this thing is lowered i know on the back it's got shackles and probably oh front here I don't know how the front's lowered. I guess just drop springs, maybe. I don't see nothing out of the ordinary. Definitely drop down more in the front than it is in the back. So the back's only got shackles on it. So I ain't real sure what kind of drop that is. It looks good. Small little rake to it in the front. Obviously the cow hood. I think it's like a two inch, two inch cow all metal not fiberglass junk I don't know I don't know if that line's messed up or not looks like I still got the old style sending unit on it maybe that's messed up over there on that let's see get this out of the way I can see better yeah. I don't know how good you can tell but it looks like a puddle of oil down in there definitely good and nasty so uh I'm thinking it's probably something to do with the oil sending unit. Hopefully that's all it is. Battery's dead, so I'll charge it up overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll go get some oil. I'll see if I can find out where the oil might be coming from first. But if not, I'll put some oil in it and see if we can get it fired up. And then see exactly where it's coming from. Get that fixed. And then I gotta pull that wheel off over there. Fix that. On this side over here looks good. All the shims are in it. And then, yeah, it's been sitting for several months. So once we get it started up, it might need some other odd and end stuff too. But we'll see once we get there. I just wanted to get her unloaded today and go over it. Figured I'd show, show y'all what we're going to be messing with in the next few days. Oil filter down there looks nice and clean. So probably not coming from there. Might be coming from the valve covers. Maybe the back of the intake. Something like that. Hoping it's not nothing to do with the motor. Damn, that thing's got a hell of a spacer on it. Golly. That like a two inch spacer. Damn. But, yeah. I just wanted to get it unloaded today. And get it all checked out. Go over it. Show y'all what we're going to be working on. Next couple videos. Try to figure out where the oil is coming from first, but if I can't figure it out, we're going to throw some oil in it. And we'll see if we can get it fired up. 
and then figure out where it's coming from and go from there but i'm gonna end this one off here and come back at it tomorrow so just like comment subscribe stay tuned for more later